if I tell you I love a cup of tea. There's nothing better than plain white toast and tea, I tell you that. It's like they've taken the two most bland things in the world, toast and tea, and somehow turned it into a cult. Now you, I bet you make a grand cup of tea now, I see it in your cheeks, I do. I love going down the calf on the weekend now, having a cuppa, so south of talent in the village, you know. People will literally pay five euros for a tea bag and a slice of bread. It's f***ing ridiculous. A lot of talent in the village now. It was rough back in June, but there's some fellas now they are boiling the water just right. It's hot water and a tea bag. That's what it is. I was down at Jenny's there now on the weekend and I swear it was like drinking muck. You'd swear her mother never taught her a thing about tea. <coughs> to be honest now, tea is a bit of a way of life. I've lost many a friend over tea, it tells you that about the core values of a person, you know, how they have their tea, when they have their tea, how they, why they have their tea. I think that people just use tea as an excuse to dislike somebody that they would have disliked anyway. But it's like less severe because it's tea related. There's two kinds of people in the world, you know, there's the person who has Barry's tea and then there's the person that deserves to be run over by a tractor. <laughs> The only difference between the two is the box that they come in. Oh, I, I shot him. It's like, why? Oh, he didn't drink the same tea as me. It's, it's ridiculous. Like you cup of tea there. What? Huh? We'll come a tea. You want to have a cover?